just after I saw the two hiking girls solo not long after that there was a family with a small child um, so and then um, I seen three young lads all the six footers their packs look so compact and tight high up on their back they all had two sticks and they were literally hiking they were almost marching but their packs were right up on their almost on their shoulders and uh, they didn't look like they were struggling whatsoever I mean one I could see one that had a, a tent connected but they certainly didn't look like they were struggling to me. Oh, look at this view. Very close to where I would have passed the, the ladies now. Very close indeed. And uh, further up was where I met the logger, the lumberjack. Who said, oh, isn't far just up that hill in the corner? Two hours later, in the boiling heat. Oh, it looks like a Robert car. It is, but it's not his. That would be weird, wouldn't it? It's too tight, Shell, too tight. Oh, it smells around here. It smells. Oh, poo and filth. God, it's horrible. And here's like a little house. A little tiny home in the countryside. Somewhere you can knock for water if you had to it's better. Nice, isn't it? Nice little house in the middle of nowhere. Lovely view. Oh, look at that little, little animal there. Look, hello. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> look at that half eaten apple. The little bird inside. Look. Nice little home that is. Uh, in the middle of nowhere. Imagine it when it's snowing here though. Where are we now? This is all so new. Did I take the right turn? I haven't seen a pass to Coastal Path for ages. Right. The boar's head, Richard the Third. So that is with the boar's head. Richard the Third. Has into his boars. For his motto. Now where do we go? This is so worrying. This is so worrying. Me having to go down here. I wonder if I can go up there. No signs of Sister's Fountain or nothing. Oh, this is not a good sign for me. But you gotta do it, girl. You gotta do it. You're a bit cold bone in a minute. I reckon I've missed the sign, County Gate. I really do. I should have asked those people. I mean, 
people were telling me ages ago I should be at County Gate. I reckon they're going to make me walk up that big hill. That one over there, that's what I climbed last time. I had to climb it from right down there all the way up. Unless there's another way. I can see a type of zigzag. Yeah, well, it don't matter. I reckon the sister's fountain to be down here. You've got to do it. Sheila, you've got to do it. You're not back at the spot. I haven't seen one sign to County Gate. Apart from that one a long way back. And people said, yeah, well, that was the one you're supposed to go up. Oh, right. It probably was. I mean, when I met one of the first solo girl, she looked like she could cry. She looked how I was feeling at the time. When I was feeling vulnerable. And you do. But fortunately, she's got that other girl now. I don't know whether they'll stay together. They might do. They might do. Well, the thing is, it's your own mission. Look at that big hill. That's the crown, mate. That's the crown. Still videoing? I can't believe there's still um, stuff left in the flipping memory bank. I'm ready to put another one in. Another, another uh, place. Because people are so people when they're in twos and that they're very very confident. You know, because they've got each other. Very, very confident. And, um, you know, they don't get this sort of trembly feeling you get when you're alone. I don't mind talking about it. And people say, well, why do you go on your own then? You don't understand. I like being on my own. I reckon this is Sister's Fountain down here. All we're going to get is cold bone. Now I'll be at cold bone before I know it. Wingate Coombe. County Gate! Yeah! This must be the place with the cross. Sister's Fountain. There's a reason for it, but I sure can't remember. Look at that. Now, isn't that worth coming for, Sheila? I'm glad you never turned off, girl. This has got to be it, hasn't it? Surely. Maybe this had water coming through it once. Walk right round it, video it. It's dried up by the look of it. I've got, I reckon this is it. I reckon this is Sister's Fountain. This is probably a place which is like um, a holy well or something. Yeah, I'll go right in everyone. I can hear it. It's probably a place for you. A healing place. Here it is. This has got to be it. The Sisters Fountain. This little place here. It's worth coming to just to say I've been here. But I wonder if everyone sort of stops to look. It is trickling down a bit, but it's broken, isn't it? He's repairing. Well, this is it, folks. This is Sisters... I didn't see a sign yet, but there might be one in a minute. Well, hello. You ought to touch the water. Touch the water, Sheila. The healing power. What's that? Touch the water. Holy water. 
might be good for you. I've touched it with my hand. I don't know if it's healthy or not, but I'm so pleased I found it. Here, so my sister Jude. I've got to hit this place. I don't know if you ever got here, Jude, but I bet you did. I bet you've stood here and looked at this fountain with a big cross up there as well. Right, I'm just going to turn off and uh, take... Right, here's um, the sister's fountain. And I know my sister Jude has probably been here because she loved these hills. She loved Exmoor. I, I, I can feel her here. Now the other story attached to this fountain is that Joseph of Arimathea, during his journeys to Somerset as a, as a metal merchant, apparently he was um, into lead, because a lot of the Romans were as well. And it all makes sense that he would be over Avalon, with all the lead mining going on down at Velvet Bottom, Cheddar, Roborough. And apparently he stopped here to take the water to drink. So I've just remembered that, so I can add that into the video, because I read that somewhere recently. Now on his journey, so he did this pilgrimage, and this is like a, this is a type of pilgrimage when people come here, by the way. This is a type of pilgrimage. I didn't know it had a cross and all that. I'm very happy to have, that I got here and I lasted out to get here. And I kept going. I'm very pleased that I got here. Very pleased indeed. I'm just going to turn off a minute. Got some red. Maybe we're getting low because some red lights were coming up. So I just carry on for a minute while it seems to be recording. I'm very glad to have got here. It's given me a chance to get some peace. Remembering the story of Joseph of Arimathea as well. And that my sister Jude probably walked here. I bet she has. So onwards and upwards, folks. County Gate is approaching. Down there is like a dirty lake. Uh, maybe the water forms down that area. More poles coming. Now we don't necessarily have to go back down the valley where uh, I parted company with some people that I walked with partly in September. We just have to now just down there is where I would have parted with the company of the others. There's no need to go down there. I don't have to do that. Now the thing is about that fountain there. If you look, unless you knew, would you have known to have gone down there? Would you have known? Although it is signposted. There we are, yeah, it's signposted. So I go that way. Half a mile to County Gate. This is going up, but we're already quite a way up, whereas if I carried on down there, I'd have to do that terrible exposed route. So there we go, folks. I'm surprised you haven't got a label there, though. You know? I'm really surprised there's no label. In a way, we're on the turn. In a way, we are. <sighs> 
It's nice to see that. So onwards and upwards. This is where Somerset and Dorset meet. Not Somerset and Dorset, Somerset and uh, Devon. So you can be in Somerset one minute, Devon the next. More signs coming up though, folks. Let's follow them. We got a bit of a climb. <sighs> Public footpath to Coastal Path and Glenthorne Beach. County Gate. <sighs> What's that say? Seventh Horns. There's two ways to County Gate. Is that way? Which way shall I go? I'm going to go off. I think I'll go on. That gate's sort of shut. It's like... Who knows? Should we go this way? I've got no idea which is the best way to go. Um, no idea. We'll go this way. Something tells me to go this way. Right, I'm going to turn off for a bit. Over now.